Madam Speaker, it is with a heavy heart and a profound sense of the gravity of this moment that I rise today in support of the impeachment of President Donald J. Trump. To be clear, I did not run for Congress to impeach a president. I came to work every day on behalf of the hardworking people of Alabama's 7th Congressional District. But the facts are uncontested. The truth is clear, and I have been left no other choice. As a member of the Intelligence Committee, I sat in shock, in awe, as witness after witness came forward, their stories painting a clear picture of the president's abuse of power. They testified that the president had direct orders to withhold vital military aid for Ukraine and a White House visit in exchange for investigation into the Bidens. To date, all the military aid has not been released and there still has been no White House meeting. The bottom line is clear. President Trump endangered our national security and the very essence of our democracy for his own personal political gain. Then President Trump sought to cover it up by subverting the oversight authority of Congress. If presidential abuse of power is left unchecked, we all become accomplices when he does it again. This cannot become the new normal, not on our watch. While President Trump's indefensible action set in motion this event. My vote for impeachment today is not about the president. It is about my oath to defend and protect the Constitution of this United States of America and to make sure that I uphold and honor the sacred trust that my constituents gave me. President Trump has betrayed his oath of office. Let us not betray ours. I yield back the balance of my time.